If you're in the market for a new streaming or video editing machine, but are stuck with a budget of less than $750, you might just be in luck. This PC we're gonna be talking through today is a bit unconventional, but it gives some insane performance for the price. And to help with those aesthetic choices, I've got my daughter Amelia here, who is going to be the proud new owner of this PC. She said, Make it look cool and play Roblox. And that's when I said, who's paying for this computer again? Either way, this PC can stream, edit video, and game as well. Pull up a stool and let's dive into this full can Intel build. build now? Hold on, we need something first. All right, make sure you grab an age appropriate drink and let's actually dive into this full Intel build. All right, so I am one of the insanely lucky people actually in driving distance of a micro center, which partially makes this build possible. At the time of filming, they have a pretty awesome bundle that includes everything we need to get started on this PC. The bundle includes the Intel i5, 12600K, which luckily is not affected by the crazy issues that Intel has been experiencing with the 13th and 14th gen chips, the MSI Pro Z790P motherboard, 16 gigabytes of G-Skill Rip Jaws DDR4 RAM, and the Intel Arc A770 Sparkle Titan OC Edition GPU. Wait, it's Sparkle? All that for $4.99. Now let's talk about Intel GPUs for just a second because I know that that piqued a couple of your interests. Are they even worth your time or should you just go with a tried and true Nvidia card or go with the unmatched gaming performance for the price AMD card? Now the Intel Arc series has been making waves and for good reasons recently. One of the biggest benefits of going with an ARC card like the A770 Sparkle Titan is that it is highly optimized to use the AV1 codec, which is something we'll get back to in just a second. Now, originally released in October of 2023, these cards actually got a pretty bad rap initially with poor performance and frequent issues. But with even more frequent driver updates, the Intel team has turned at least their GPUs around into some capable hardware. Take a look at a few of these figures from the benchmarks the Tech Notice ran. As far as productivity software, the numbers are actually quite impressive. As you'll see, the A770 is hanging in there with the likes of the 4070 Super and even the 3090 when it comes to editing in Premiere Pro. One of the standout features that actually allows it to do this is its ability to handle the 10-bit H.265 codec exceptionally well, which is something I do often with video coming from my DSLR or drone. This is boring! As I was saying, when it comes to Adobe products, the Arc A770 performs pretty darn well. However, when you're using something like DaVinci Resolve, it performs a lot closer to expected, something closer to the 4060 Ti, which is completely fine, especially at that price point, it's actually still a pretty great option. This card is also impressive though, because it comes with 16 gigabytes of VRAM. For a card that is regularly on discount and can be found around or under $300. Now, one of the standout features of the G this GPU, and one of the reasons I wanted to put it in this build, is its streaming performance, thanks to AV1 encoding. But what exactly is AV1? AV1 is a modern, open source video codec. It's designed to deliver high quality video while using significantly less data. This means you get better compression efficiency compared to the older codecs like H.264 and even H.265. For content creators, this is a game changer because it allows for higher quality streams and recordings without needing to use as much bandwidth. 
Now YouTube already has full support for AV1 and Twitch is currently testing it, which means it's something that you'll be wanting out of your GPU very soon. Do we get a builder now? Very, very soon. But first, if you've made it this far, I just wanna say I appreciate you. And if you're learning something or just enjoying hanging out with us in the Pixel Pub, make sure you hit that subscribe button before we get into the full specs of this PC. So we already talked about exactly what was in the bundle, starting off with the Intel Core i5-12600KF. This processor is so solid and it's a great starting point. It's not gonna be the quickest. It doesn't have as many cores, doesn't have as many threads as an i7 or an i9. But again, for the price, this is one of the best CPUs on the market for somebody just getting started. For the motherboard, we've got the MSI Pro Z790P. It is a DDR4 motherboard, which I know that some people are going to say it's not very future-proof because of it. This is a PC that's still gonna be able to last for a couple of years into the future. I really think that DDR4 is gonna be just fine. For the RAM, we've got the G-Skill Rip Jaws RAM, 16 gigabytes of DDR4, 32 megahertz RAM. The nice thing is for another 30 bucks, you can add another two sticks, bump it up to 32 gigabytes of RAM if you want. And of course, for the GPU, I don't want to labor on this too much because we've already talked a ton about, about this. We've got the Sparkle Titan OC Edition Arc a770 has 16 gigabytes of vram i'm i'm so excited to test this card out and for the cpu cooler i decided to go with the cooler master hyper 212 spectrum v3 comes in right at about 20 bucks it's a great cooler for the price there's a lot of really really inexpensive coolers especially for this i5 you don't need to go crazy on a cooler. Save the money for where it matters. For storage, I picked up this Inland TN470, one terabyte um, NVMe drive. This is one of the parts you could definitely find a little bit cheaper if you go smaller, but if you're wanting lots of games pre-installed or if you're planning on doing a lot of video editing, this is something that I wouldn't recommend going under a terabyte. The case is also one of those areas where we can actually save some good money by picking up one of the cheap, boring, what? windowless cases. I a cool one. Or I guess if you want to spend some more just for aesthetics to make it look cool, this is also your opportunity to do that. We ended up going with the NZXT H6 Flow, which is about $100 but you could definitely find some closer to $50 if that's what you're looking for. One thing to remember though, is that this case does come with fans included. So make sure that when you're, so make sure that you're taking that into account when you're picking a case out. As far as the power supply goes, we went with the Corsair CX650M, 650 watt, 80 plus bronze, semi-modular power supply. I know that this isn't top of the line, but it is, it's a great power supply and it's going to be more than enough for everything this computer needs. And being that this case already comes stocked with a couple of fans pre-installed, like I mentioned before, any more would just be some extra RGB and aesthetics. So I don't think we need anything like that. More RGB. Now this is going to be a great build for content creation, video editing, and streaming, especially if you're just getting started. And I'm really excited to start playing some games with Amelia and really test this build out. Do we get a build in now? Yes, let's put it together now. We're actually gonna do it live on stream right over there if you wanna check it out. 